Hi there, this is Kevin Stewart Builds. I'm Kev, and this is stage 26 of issue 8 of Build Ghostbusters Ecto 1. Okay, so stage 26, it's the last part for this uh, subscribers pack from issue 8. Um, and we're just going to be building up the front of the model by the looks of things, uh, adding some details to that radiator housing that we had from the last stage and then kind of uh, fixing that onto the car um, it's going to add some nice detail to the um, car but let's have a look at it let's have a look at the parts and let's get this built so let's get it uh, into stage uh, 26. okay it's got parts laid out here for stage 26 uh, some quite nice detailed parts all plastic parts but uh, nice uh, nice detailed battery box and oil reservoir and stuff so uh, going to add some nice detail to the model um, but let's get this now we've looked at the part let's get this assembled uh, it looks like we're going to be assembling it onto the frame and then putting it onto the car so let's get into it let's get into the uh, the actual build then for stage 26. So the first thing we're going to be building, it looks like, is the control box, control box, and then fitting that to the um, radiator frame. Um, yeah, just two simple parts going to be going together to form this control box. Put it together, putting the lid on, and then just fitting that together with two DP screws. box together and that's now going to be fitted onto the frame itself with some IP screws bring it over the frame from the uh, last stage that's going to fit onto the back there it's got the maybe with the oh just making sure it doesn't really show which way around it does I guess it can only go one way And I'm just going to quite simply fit that together with, uh, you know, attach that with two IP screws. Control box fitted on, and two IP screws. Now we're assembling the battery, so bringing out this quite nice detail painted. Uh, battery itself and the mounting for the battery um, there is a little keyway a tiny keyway there and obviously a key on there just to show which way round it goes putting it on obviously an old style battery lead acid battery that gets fitted to these DP screws yeah just show all nice sealed batteries we've got in cars nowadays Side lead acid. You used to have to chop up the water or replace the plates and all that kind of stuff. All those distilled water that used to go in these things. Now that's going to be fitted onto the radiator bracket as well. Got the uh, locating pins, locating holes. And then three, this time, IP screws. Okay, battery fitted onto the mounting bracket. And then it's the oil reservoir. Um, fit in the little, it's actually got oil written on it, I don't see that, probably can't see that, but it has got oil written on the actual top of the, and then that's just going to go in, and we get fitted with an EP screw. <laughs> that's not, and then turn it over. 
Flames on. You can only go one way. Matches the contours of the actual oil reservoir. And a DP screw. There's a little reservoir food. And that's going to go onto the car. So I'm going to have to bring the car over. And then this is just going to pop. This is just the oil reservoir that we're just working on. It's going to pop on the front there. On those two pegs. Uh, the front one. The front hull is going to be an EM screw. We want a DM screw. I'm going in first. We're going in really, really easy. No need for oil on some of these. I'm going to try and avoid the oil as much as possible um, with these metal screws. I know it was helping. It just seems to be leaving marks a little bit. So it's not something I'm going to be using if I can avoid it. Try and get a better angle there, slightly on this, because we're going to, have to be fitting now the bracket, the radiator with all the um, radiator bracket, the radiator itself, obviously, battery in the control box. Um, so it's going around that way. So the radiator screws and everything facing the engine. Uh, it's kind of going to be resting in there. And the first thing it says to do once you've got that is you've got these pipes here, that pipe there, rubber pipe there, rubber pipe there. And they're going to have to go into the, that hole and that hole on the radiator. So kind of putting it in place to start with. Top one in okay. Getting that bottom one in. Kind of tweezers maybe. I could try and attack it from underneath. Go. A pair of tweezers helped out massively on that. So that's the bottom one, which is really difficult, I guess, for you guys to see. Bottom one is in, and the top pipe is now into the radiator as well. So there's one down the bottom, one on top. Once they're in, you're then attaching it with EM screws on either side. That was a little bit tough to go in. And yeah, getting around. I had to get around the other side and really push that down and heard the click. So this one was okay. Okay, uh, so now the hose will be connected in the last one. Okay, so this pipe here, we fit it on the last one, it's gonna be going down to the junction box. Going from the generator to the junction box. Then we're going to be getting the hoses and fitting on connectors for the battery, both of those. On them. Then fitting what it calls the grounding terminal into that fender liner with a P screw. Fitting these into the battery has got kind of a keyway. One for the front of the battery, it's going to be going on to the
control box. And this one's going to be going onto the grounding terminal. I believe that's it. Yep. Definitely starting to come alive. Lots of detail in this engine. Now, as you can see, I haven't done any too much weathering or anything like that. Some people have done and left it pretty much stock. Um, but still looking pretty impressive. And stage 26 done. Okay, so stage 26 done there of the Ecto. Uh, just a few details on the front of the model, but yeah, helping it come alive and all those kind of important things like the battery and the oil uh, reservoir and things. So um, yeah, nice detail. So that's it for uh, issue eight or scrolls pack number eight. Uh, Going to be waiting on uh, kind of uh, issue nine. Um, hopefully that'll be here in the next week or so. As soon as that's here, yeah, I'll start getting those uh, parts or stages constructed and then kind of getting them on the channel. So if you'd like to see the progression of this model or the other uh, models that are on the channel, then please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell if you'd like to be notified any time that a video goes live. But hey, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, hope to catch you again on the channel soon. Uh, take care and ta-da for now.